Hi, I'm Marna, and today we're going to do part three, which is actually the fourth video on this Chatty Kathy doll. Um, what I have done is her face was pretty much a mess. And not only did it have discoloring like this doll, which is probably nicotine res residue, it also had some marks on it. I, I, I don't even know what it was, but if you look at Chatty Kathy before, you'll see that. What I have done is I took the cheap Walmart Zap Zit. It has 10% benzo peroxide gel, and I rubbed that in their faces and let it sit. And I'm telling you something, I am amazed what this stuff will get out. If you look at the before, video be sure and look at that foot that had the spots on it they are almost gone using this uh zap zip i call it zip zad i don't know why but i do okay here's chandy kathy and what i'm about to do is give her a wash up i also uh this charmin chatty needed the same uh, zip zap you can see I pulled their hair back and I'm going to give them a wash and we'll reveal what we have. Warm water. And, oh my goodness. This doll has cleaned up so well. It is amazing. I'm using a toothbrush to get this out of all these cracks. Now, whether this will be her last swoosh or not with this, I don't know. We'll just have to see what we've got. But again, if you go look at the Chatty Kathy before, you might be as amazed as I am. If you're a doll restorer, well, you know how good this stuff is. What I was afraid of is it would take her freckles and paint off, and so far it has not. But look at that. I think I'll set her a couple more weeks with some up here. here let me get, see if I can get her in the sun. Look at that. Again, go look at this this uh, Chatty Kathy before, and you will see what this stuff is amazing. I'll set her to dry. I while we have her apart to work on her, I cleaned the inside of this doll too. Would you believe I found dead spiders in her legs? Yep, dead spiders. And then we'll do Charmin Chatty, who also had the nicotine yellowing it's kind of a greenish yellow you might notice in some of the vintage dolls i cannot tell you how pleased i am with chatty kathy's face i am going to give her another douse right around here and up here what they've had on her face i have no idea but look how clean that came and then charm and chatty as you can see i have her kind of tilted so that her record player is uh, draining out in case I got any water in there. She's still more yellow than I like. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, if I'll go ahead and try another treatment on her. But look at that foot. That is a miracle, I tell you. It's a miracle. So I'll leave these guys dry, and in the meantime... This little doll I bought so that I could cut her hair off and learn to reroute hair. But I read on a um, doll site where they take oil and they put that in the hair, baby oil or whatever oil, and they leave that sit overnight. And then they take a blow dryer on a low setting and use a nylon stocking or netting to brush out the hair. Now, I don't really care about her hair, but that would be kind of fun to try. So I think that's my next project. That and this mess. This is Timey Tell. She was also a doll from the 60s. If you can get a close up of her little watch, you set the watch, pulled the string, and Timey Tell told you what time it was. As you can see, she's seen better days. So we're going to give her a little restoration and we'll probably crack her open now she as i understand it is a lot harder to restore the voice box but darren's also a genius so we'll see thank you please like our videos and subscribe